this song right here is also sick. I just feel like I'm banging out these League of Legends breakdown review kind of already checked them out sort of things. But see, even in, at this video, like one of the first comments is, oh no, that was the other one I did. Whoops, 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 whoops. Never mind. Disregard that message. Anyways, welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. This is Phoenix verse, uh, featuring Kaylin Russo and Chrissy Costanon Costanza. Why was that breaking my mind? Anyways, this 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 is one of my top songs. I, I had to cover this one. Another one where I'm just saying you look at I love it. The description literally says it destroy your doubt, face the future. Let's go. Let's check it out. Again, no headphones until my hair dries, so hopefully the audio and everything sounds pretty good. And we're just gonna jam out we're gonna jam out i'm gonna again i say uh listen to the song for yourself then come watch my breakthrough because or breakthrough my breakdown i guess that's both breakthrough and breakdown because i'm gonna pause a lot and that's just me and yeah man these songs i'm telling you these songs are so universal go listen to any other breakdown reaction commentary i've done on these songs they're they're uh, they're just awesome. They're literally awesome songs. Like they speak, they speak so much like louder than leak. I'm telling you. Or no, we are the, we're the living legends now. We're the league of legends now. So tell me y'all. Guys, I don't even hype this when I listen to this song because the last two years of my life have been that actually no, since I've been 18, this has been the definition of my life. Like, no joke, bro. Like, dude, like the maybe I should just break down the lyrics after, but this is so true. Everyone does this. What are you willing to lose? See, what are you willing to lose? You cover your wounds, but underneath them. It's it's just so true. It's like a lot of people got that pressure on them, and I'm telling when you when you let that out, when you let it go, you become a different monster, man. Like, and that that beginning bar, like, what are you willing to lose? Like, you really have to ask yourself because a, a lot. It's I said this in the other one I just recorded where it's really your old self holding you back. All those voices in your head, it really is. It's you, like, holding you back from your truest potential and your true you. <sighs> another twist of the knife. Yeah, that's how it feels, man. Like, another, just in that gut, like, another twist of the knife. It's so serious. And I love how they display, like, the shadow self version of the person well they're showing the character but this is still like alluding to the person's mane um and the shadow self like it's like tweaking and quirking out and dude doing your shadow work literally feels like this another thing i uh, this makes me think of is divergent when tris had to go against herself if you haven't seen divergent or you you should just you should just see the scene i'm talking about you just got to go see the scene Look up Trish versus Trish Divergent. All right, let's keep going. Song, bro. Fuck. I'm getting like getting a little bit of T 
tears in my eyes, bro. It's one of the this is this is hands down one of the best league songs to ever drop in my opinion because it's just straight up telling you and showing you with the visuals. Like right here, she's like meditating and then the shadow began to corrupt her because if you don't deal with your shadow self, it begins to corrupt you. And then I think even right here, let me see. Yeah, look, it gathered up on her heart right here in her chest. Again, the heart chakra getting a little bit esoteric and it came out. And she even said that it's your reflection looking back or well coming. It's your reflection. It's your, your other half pulling you down. So are you going to die today or make it out alive? You got to conquer the monster in your head. And another thing that 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 speaks that speaks so much to me because one I got like a feathered dragon that's supposed to like represent a phoenix tattooed on me and also like uh, when I was describing something to somebody they even said that they were like you're like a phoenix because when a phoenix dies it's born from it, a new phoenix it's reborn it's immortal essentially but it dies and then it's reborn from its ashes and yeah and think about the bars the bars earlier that she was spitting you know what are you willing to sacrifice it's you it's that you got to sacrifice this like this isn't you like the what the world tried to have you conform to and these negative thoughts and it's, it's not you it's just your lower vor version of you you got to beat it love that go bury your demons but bury them like get like i wouldn't even say bury them like you got to get control of them but the thing about burying them it's like yeah like you got to step over that version of yourself get that shit in check do not let it run you you know a lot of people are run by the things that they don't heal and deal with and then another thing too is like tear down the ceiling it's like uh i like thinking of people talk about ascension or ascending and like enlightenment and it's like if you think about that tear down the ceiling people think heaven is above them which this isn't to knock any of your beliefs but like tearing down the ceiling is almost like you know you're about to tear down the ceiling and just shoot through the roof you're about to shoot for the stars so i like that too so this is faker And now you're playing with matches, the fire, the passion in your heart, the come out of the ashes underneath you. Come out of the ashes underneath you, the phoenix. So cool to tie in the phoenix bar. I didn't I actually didn't notice that now until I actually paid attention. Because for me, I always feel the feeling of what the artist was trying to capture with the song, the feeling. Because that's exactly why I love this song, it's the feeling. Like the lyrics are just describing the feeling in your heart and you know, but Shit, dude, I'm trying not to get emotional on here. But let them swallow their pride, the the crowd, whatever. Like they know better. The turning the tide to the true believers. Got them in the palm of your hand, you playing God now. What you gonna do now? That's what I love. Hold on. Before we even get to this, I love that he's on the train because what that symbolizes in spirituality. But like also like when people say they have a certain train of thought. See, 
see, yeah, and the characters are, I don't know if that's Faker's main or he just mains everything. I don't know how disgusting this dude is. I'm never, now, I don't really even watch League of Legends. I've watched Asu play it, but I've never really watched anyone. Like, I haven't, I like tuned in for like two seconds. <laughs> you know, like I don't really watch any other creators, especially like when creating content and then like my stuff in my outside life. But when I got the downtime, I watched certain people, but so I've never really took the time to watch anyone play League. That was a beat sync. I think I've never realized that until now. That I love that. song gives me chill. I'm literally getting goosebumps on my arm. I'm like getting them at the top of my arm and stuff. Dude, it's, it's, if you feel this, like. And I like what they did with this part, bro, because they're like showing you. And then he's. They're like showing you, man. Like, it's funny because I bet, I bet to some people, like, okay, it's like, oh, it's just a cool fire gaming video. It's just about League. And no, like, it's like when you start looking at it from a like if you have a spiritual view like I can't even say call it that because I don't like I don't even I don't consider myself spiritual so I'll say like this when you come from a higher point of view and a higher perspective and you look at a lot of things that spirituality and metaphysics talked about and everything being energy and everything being energy frequency and vibration well what are they showing you right here with the colors and stuff dude they're showing you man you unlock this part of yourself that becomes a light being, bro. We're light beings, dude. So this is just... They're just showing you. Look at this. Look at, look at how they show it. See? Among those who walk, certain people are going to be the ones to realize this. You know? May not be everyone, may not be their time yet, but one day you'll realize that. And I feel like when... That's all I can say. I love it. I love how it's displayed, man. It's like... And look at it. Look at this end scene. It even looks like a sea of stars. It... it that's it. It looks like a sea of stars. The League songs are so awesome, bro. Like, like, I have to understand, like, it goes beyond the, beyond the game, like, for, for me. For me, I, just, like, how I see it. It's like, I can't even see things. After, after I had, like, an awakening years ago, I can't even see things normally anymore. It's like, I understand them, but it's like, no, everything, everything in existence is literally, like, speaking of the story of us. Like, even to call a game League of Legends, like, that shit is crazy. It's like, we're that. We're the League of Legends, no matter where you are in your life. That's why Star Walking was so dope to me. Yeah, I, I really liked Star Walking because it was just like, it tells you, man. It tells you. But even the visuals they're showing and stuff, it's just, I, like, the lyrics speak so far outside the game, and I don't know. I feel like if anyone, did, like, just denies that, like, I, I mean, all right, yes, everyone's entitled to their perspectives and how they perceive things. But for me, for me, this speaks of you and I outside of League. Like, this is the League of Legends. Like, it goes beyond the game. I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But 
Much Love and Moonlight. I love this song, dude. This one is another song that, like, usually, if if ever, I I have so much motivation that comes from within myself, so I don't really even listen to these songs anymore. But I remember in the beginning, years ago, like this one came out in 2019. Yeah, it's 2024. So, yeah, like back then, I was at the beginning of my awakening. I was led to these songs, and I never even played League. Like they would just pop up, or like you know, I'd be feeling a certain way. And something would pop up and then I would instantly know based off of like what I already witnessed to awakening like oh like this is us like this is speaking of us it's not even it's talking about a game but life is a game and it's like I was just like I, I had these deeper realizations but yeah and yeah I don't even gotta say anymore but anyways much love and moonlight I'll see you on the next one we'll go ahead and keep going peace